cornerstone of Fortunatus is about making the best possible wine that we can, handcrafted wine um, that really involves individuals uh, imparting their take on what it is that they want to get out of uh, a wine that pleases them. I moved to Sonoma two years ago with an interest of learning how to make wine. And uh, in, in wanting that interest, I wanted to make good wine. So I was looking around for um, somebody or a company, somebody I could uh, get involved with, and I met a friend, uh, and she told me about Fortunatus, and so I was immediately interested. And one one yeah. thing you'll notice about this vineyard, Joel, is we have the bird netting. Uh -huh. This bird netting is for mostly starlings. David Cook, our uh, uh, exclusive viticulturist. Uh, David's 18-year farmer has been, um, you know, tending vines and understands all of what happens uh, and is necessary to create just that spectacular great product. So as these vineyards are growing, what happens is they actually start um, um, being treated a little bit, getting used to that adverse temperature, and these low quality flavors come out. And you mix that with the volcanic soil, um, a lot of the terroir that you see around here. It just makes so much better wine. I really wanted to learn more about the wine business and growing and tasting and all of it. And this is a really fun way to do it. It's very educational, but you are going to have end up with some wine, which is completely fantastic, with your own label and your own name on the bottle. And so the green side is, uh, it's actually tastes green. It's more tart. It's tartar, yes. it's not as sweet. Mm -hmm. And then the fruit flavors, uh, some of that, mm, the golden side some of that nice sweeter. apricot yes. and kind of mm -hmm. um, melony fruit flavors that you get from the golden side. Oh, people love it. That this uh, It's all about the experience, uh, sharing the experience of winemaking, wine growing and winemaking with people. And, you know, wine is such a, it's a beautiful experiential product that we all love to taste and, and share precious moments with people and the flavors. And then to, to delve into how that's made, uh, people just love that experience. We love sharing that with people. We're really fortunate to have Dave. He is a, a world-class winemaker uh, that comes from uh, a, a pedigreed history of wineries and winemaking. Now the, the vine needs plenty of leaves to make sugars and flavors to put into the berries. So here we are at the Span Vineyards, uh, Betsy and Peter's uh, estate vineyard, which is at the top of the Maya Camus Mountain and it's the mountain range that separates Napa and Sonoma. And it's uh, mostly volcanic soil, so they're growing some really nice cab and some Merlot up here. A little different than the valley vineyards that we were in earlier. People get the whole experience with Fortunatus. What, what we're able to offer is a, a cool location, an ambiance, a hands-on experience. Um, that you don't get with uh, just like going part-time to a, like a wine camp, if you will. Betsy Spann uh, taught me winemaking, and uh, we've been working with Betsy since the beginning of Fortunatus. Uh, it was partially through Betsy that we came up with the concept of Fortunatus in regards to me going through the process of learning everything about why it's so important in the vineyard and, and uh, um, what you do in the winery to, to realize the fruits of that labor. And then once they get on their regular schedule, it's they get their regular growing schedule, and you can target the harvest time a little more precisely then. That's what's different between Sonoma Valley and Napa Valley. You come over to Sonoma Valley and this soil is so very different from this soil, from this soil, from this soil, because it the, the glacial curve just kept going. So it's totally different deposits. So you've got different clones from one side of the mountain to the other side of the mountain on the same latitude. You're actually part of the family here. You get to um, learn a little more in detail in a very intimate environment. Uh, Fortunatus gives you a chance to just be part of the business in a very real sense. Um, so I had a little bit of knowledge about the wine industry, but it's very different when you're actually, you know, touching the grapes and and seeing how it's made and talking to the winemakers. We both talked about, you know, somewhere down the line being more involved in a vineyard. Uh, we actually talked about maybe someday having our own. So this has kind of been a, maybe a small stepping stone toward that, just learning more the ins and outs of it.
Our first event of a particular calendar year is our Bud Break event. And Bud Break is it's kind of a, it's a big gala event because not a lot is happening in the vineyard. The vineyard's just waking up. Um, the blooms are just, blossoms are just coming on. Then we do crush the opposite end of the equation when the fruit is ready to be taken off of the vines. The whole, both valleys, Napa and Sonoma, are, are just a buzz with excitement. People get actually involved and, and uh, get hands-on in the crush process. So it's not so much a, a gala event as much as it is a participatory event. And we have a lot of fun. And then lastly, we do a barrel tasting and then people get to actually taste their wine a year later out of the barrel. It's a small event, it's a little more personable, um, and it's always a really good time because then people, they have that new appreciation for everything that went on in the previous year. And here we are kind of celebrating it uh, and taking your first sips of your now wine. <laughs> this is so good. It's fascinating and it's agriculture. So it's got lots of drama. <laughs> the weather, the wind, the, the sun, it's really interesting. That's the real difference here with Fortunatus. We have that experience that revolves around being hands-on to winemaking. So not only are you getting this you know, education that you couldn't get anywhere else really, uh, but you get the essence, you get the field, you get dirty, you see and respect that we're making a small handcrafted boutique wines um, that are yours. You put your label on it. It's, it's your craft and it's your story you're telling as you're pouring that bottle. Uh, and that's what really makes us that much different. I mean, I believe that Napa Valley is God's country, really. And so we're, what other place would you want to be able to harvest your own grapes and make wine? Mm -hmm.